My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Arakia Galadurthan, head of the modding team behind Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to Warhammer 2 as we continue on as the Sisters of Twilight. With our successful reclamation and then rejuvenation, rejuvenation of Lothlorien, or the Witchwood as it was once known. And before we begin all that though, may I just say a very, very happy St. Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. Um, I do hope you've had a wonderful day. I appreciate this video went up on Monday, but I recorded it yesterday. So as of right now, it is that for me. So happy Valentine's Day to you all. As a recap for this campaign, though, things are going very well. We took Chakwa and we defeated the Orcs, as one would expect. The pathetic, verminous filth have been pushed back. Um, and our army in the south, led by Thulas, ably and adeptly led by Thulas, has been kicking the Ratman back into the forest. And in, bizarrely, in the last episode, they retreated when we attacked them um, at the city here of Um So we've got a couple of the Heathlands down in Erun Las Galen, which means it is also now improving and growing. So where are we, I hear you cry, Galu? What's the plan now? The plan is, first of all, to follow up on many of your comments and just have a look at the Sisters of Twilight, because many of you said that they actually have that ability right there. Diplomatic relations is boosted with the Dark Elves, the High Elves and all Wood Elves. We absolutely want that. So we need to get them to fight so that we can get that. We should have got that much quicker. Uh, I'm not particularly bothered about Inseverable, but that I'm all about. So thank you very much for pointing that out. I wish I'd known about that sooner. Our actual plan is to leave this place, I believe. We're finally at that point. Nagarond, as we've discussed many times, really dislikes me, but we've recently ensured that the Cult of Pleasure, who are our greatest and nearest foe, uh, are no longer actually that near to us by securing some of the outer lands. Um, oh, look, the Hex 4 has been... can be repaired. And Ariel as well, how are you doing? Yeah, you're doing fine. Yes, so we're getting them back to Lothlorien so that they can then jump away. And our plan, as I'm sure I've discussed many times, is to jump all the way down here to the far corner of the world where we find Orion's camp. Orion's camp. Um, now, what I want to do is I think it's control shift. No, that just took a screenshot. Of course it does, because that's the steam button for a screenshot, isn't it? Ah, but it did also save. <laughs> no, we don't want it to be that then. Um, can we do Control shift f 8 uh, And then if we press F8, nothing happens. Bugger. All right, all right, all right. We'll change this to number 10 then instead then. So you're going to be 10. What I'm talking about here is I'm setting up the camera bookmarks so that I can very easily jump between my locations. So we've got F9, F11, and then F10. Uh, right, so yeah, we're going to go down to Orion's camp. Now, as something that has been pointed out before as well is we possibly still have the quest... I don't know where... Ah, missions and quests, there we are. You'll be given the opportunity to confederate with them if we win one battle against them. So all we need to do is come in and attack them, and then we'll be given the chance to confederate. Uh, similarly with Laurel on Forest, if we win a single battle against the Norska, um, and then we need to move any character to Venom Glade, um, and that is the moving along on the quest for them to get a dragon. We should probably do that, but Nagarond really won't like our interjection. Can we train a hero? What kind of heroes do we get? Oh, well, there we are. Yeah, we can. Might as well. Might as well. Might as well. What do you actually do? Waystalker, Weapon Master. Um, oh, they're all Waystalkers. And that's the only one that we can get. Well, they'll do them. Armor, piece and weapon damage, melee attack, armor, melee attack, weapon strength, winds of power, reserve, melee attack during forest battles. I think we'll take to Duthus. I'm hoping that he'll count. We'll move him in. Um, can I make you move faster? No, I can't really do anything like that. Um, well, give yourself that and give yourself that. We'll link you down into Dulas's army once you're done, I think, as a powerful secondary. But hopefully moving you to Venom Glade will be enough. But for now, that is the rough <laughs> going over of where we are. Oh, no. No, 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 Please don't be. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Nagaron, no. No, 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 no. This faction has declared war on you, Nagarond. 
Oh. Oh, and the rat men are coming at the exact same time. So when this turn started, we were in an okay position. And now that the turn has ended, we are now right up against it. Nagarond, no more enemies left to fight, so they've turned on us. As expected. Warriors send a return to the forest. Recruitment cost for Dryad Stream and Treekin. Growth is up. Casualty replenishment upkeep for all elf units. Burn the body. Sword of Cain has been claimed. Oh, she has gained an ability. What are we doing with you? We are moving you down this line at the moment. And we could go Soul Stealer. Give that let's yeah, let's give Soul Stealer a boost. Um, right, so Nagarond has attacked us, which means if we take Nimrodel Hall, then the Cult of Pleasure will come up and hit us from the south. Um, Eshwatl is moving up on the Cult from the south, and the Cult does only seem to actually have three provinces. Did they take that province that was up here as well? Yeah. Uh, no, that's Nagarond. That's Nagarond. That's interesting. Nagarond is all-powerful and considerably stronger than us by some some degree. I really don't want to attack Nagaron, to be honest. Um, but we don't really want to lose Lothlorien. <laughs> oh, I don't want to have to sit here and defend forever and a day. That's just so dull. Um, and they can come from so many ways. They're going to be coming down to Nehexfall. They're going to be coming down to Arul's Hall. They'll be coming down to Vol's Anvil. So even taking these two quickly to beat them back won't mean anything. And now they absolutely hate us. That's so annoying. I don't. I just don't want to fight the Dark Elves or fight around here anymore. Um, so I'm just. I know that it's almost ridiculous, but I think I'm just going to say sods to it, s balls to it, really, and jump down to there. If we lose Lothorian, we lose Lothorian. Sod it. Because down here we can confederate we by just Only simply attacking them one time. End their threat. Oh, huge battle. We fight for the forest. No, if we pull back Remain and then pull back, we've declared war and they know it, so they'll bring their army out. But if we pull away, then they might come one f they might only bring two armies and then we'll be all right. Oh, Thulas has improved. Well done. Well done indeed. Terms of base missile damage, five melee defense. Ah, we were getting you down quartermaster, weren't we, to reduce the cost, but I don't think that matters as much at the moment. So let's improve something else instead. Reload time reduction. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And you, of course, have to... If we attack that army, that army comes in as well. Gravely outnumbered. And I assume we don't get our garrison... Ah, oh, we do, but it's pathetically small. We are hugely outnumbered. We fight for the forest. We'll decline that for now, see what happens. Um, and then, as I say, we've abandoned Lothlorien, so it will almost certainly fall to Nagarond, but Nagarond is just... He would just be a... Fighting against Nagarond is just folly, really. Ah, they did come. Our hand is forced. Skaven Slave Spears, Skaven Slaves, Warp Fire Throwers, Warp Fire Throwers, Grinders. Can't see any siege in that first one though. Warp grinders. It's got some rattling guns. That's disappointing. Yeah. Make mm. Ariel and Orion proud. Let's do it. In the name of the Wood Elves, we must hold in the south, for it is our respite, our place to flee. Of course, we can always return to the north once we're on better terms with Nagarond. It's so disappointing. So, so, so disappointing. And I'm really disappointed that I didn't realise that the sisters had a plus 15 relations boost to the Dark Elves. That would have helped us massively. Right, I'm not going to gamble. Oh, no, I am. 11's basically 10. Go on. Yes! It went up to 18. Nice. Right, they're all coming in front. Um, oh no, and they're coming from... Why are they coming from behind us? That makes no sense at all, game. Ugh, oh, do me a flavour. 
does not help us at all. We do not do well when we are that badly outnumbered and flanked. Um, and I'm, almost our entire army is ranged. Oh no, it's actually about half and half, really. Um, I'm I'd be tempted to pull back, but pulling back just seems foolish because they're going to get so many units. But no, we've got to do something like that. We've got to do something like that. And they're coming in from over there. Why are we getting attacked in the back when we're defending a settlement? That just makes no sense, game. Why do you keep making these horrible design decisions? Uh, fighting in this forest, if we can... That place there is blocked off, isn't it? Yeah, all of the grey can't be fought in, can it? So if we came to here, we cannot be flanked. So it's, that's what we're going to do. Slow her down, slow her down. Right, all of you form a line. We're camping in the corner like a noob. I know, I know, I know. But it must be done. A couple of you won't really do out, but get down over there. Alright, and then form a line. Get those units out and involved. Um... You're gonna to have to go like that, but it's not that's not that great. Oh no 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 no! We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that, because we've got these fellows here as well. Ah, oh, they can form on that right hand side. Just cover that last bit. All right, we're gonna need units to get out and flank, which is you, 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 and then you three as well. I want you to all come down here, which means actually that the first unit doesn't need to go quite so angular. All right, there we are. Let's have a look at these. The lizard folk that have joined our ranks. Zoots. Centaur lizards. Well, they look pretty cool. I'm assuming they're good shock cav. Be surprised if they weren't. All right, let's speed it up while everyone gets into positions. Well, the rat men come. And are instantly destroyed. You should all group together so that we can turn you on and off firing at will, because don't... Oh, no. Wrong one. Don't waste yourselves on clan rats, of all things. Change up there. A step further forward. You are free to fire at will. Oh dear. Shenlet is a warlock master, but he's already decided he's had enough and he's, he's boggering off. Charge in and hit those spears. Let's get the Zoets out. You're going to go with them. All of the archers are firing. Hulus is ready. Ah, no, 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 no. Turn back and stop what you're doing. He's gone. Don't worry about him. We'll get him when he comes back. It's interesting that you can fire over the obstacles, but you can't move through them. That's pretty nifty. Right. You go and hit those warp grinders. You go and hit those. You go into those. And you go into those. And that should deal with them. They've only got a thousand more than us, and we have fantastic ranged options. Uh, the question is just... And interestingly, almost all of their army is, is coming around on the right-hand side. I don't know why so many of them are coming around on that side. How did the Zoets get on? Oh, very well indeed. It's that warp fire throw unit taken basically out of the game. There's their chieftain, the Rel. Blast at them there. Let the tree burst forth. And let the Ratmen know they face their death.
In we go. In we go. Let's charge them in again. They almost certainly do best when they're charged. Further round. Right, archers over here. You're, it's not really being used to your best, so move your fatals around. Did us forward. Give us another tree. Ah, perfect. Our right hand side is taking a right old punishment. Um, let's get the zealots up there and get them involved. So you're going to have to deal with this down here on your own. Get yourselves in there. Bugger. Rattling guns. Zoets, that's your target. Shut them down. Let's go, boys. Oh, what have you got? Flesh to stone. 60 armor. Oh, and they can heal themselves. Do let's give us another blast. Nice, nicely done, nicely done. Oh, we've almost got it down to parity. We've got a lot of the enemy running away, actually. That's interesting. Keep them engaged. You can hit Lord Skrulk there. Get them up. Most of their army is now centred up there. But they foolishly stand atop one another. Which allows for her to do some damage with her tree there. Oh, she can heal herself, that's nice. Look at those warp fire throwers. The enemy is doing very poorly. Boost yourselves. I think we might take this. Oh, yes, they've got less than us now. And the Skaven absolutely need to keep their numbers above their enemy. Or they are nothing. Oh, and he's fled and he's out of the game. Bile Filch, their chieftain's trying to run away. Most, if not all of them, in fact, are trying to run away. I think we're about to see a great shift in the... In the uh, stats in a moment. Archers, move the line forward. Let's do the same. So let's go and shut those down. Don't really have a blob of them anywhere now. Oh, that only kills two. It's not really great, is it? That's alright though. I think we've definitely got this. They now have less than half of our numbers. They are not going to win today. Everybody target that Plague Priest. Kill him. Yes, and there it is. No one can stop the Wood Elf Volley. The Zoats did really well though, didn't they? Fantastic. Heroic victory of all things. The game thought we were going to get smashed and we annihilated them. 608 losses. Varcio took 18 losses. Uh, Zoats got 92, that's pretty good. She only got 64, so what she could do with the best spell. 181 Glade Guard. Absolutely putting a stint in. Phenomenal work from the Glade Guard there. The archers, again, it's just proving to be an archer fest. Their leader, Shenlet, he took 114, so his fireball thing and then him just running into us did do a fair bit of damage. But otherwise, that's poor form from his army. Uh, they just did not do very well at all, did they? I would. Yeah, we're going to replenish. But we'll nip out and hit him. Right, here come Nagarond. Almost certainly. No. I mean, we could have tried to shock and awe Nagarond, I suppose. Try and rush them down as quickly as we can and force their hand. Make them think we're stronger than we are. Um, but I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, as expected. The bowmen came at us. Right, we are outnumbered. Um, and of course, they've got our troops. So 
That's always going to be a bit of a pain. But we have got Ariel, and she's a phenomenal. Ilfrun and Dodan. It's a bit of a naff one having to fight these to get them to confederate with you, because this is basically all they have. So we're not going to confederate with them as much as the few remaining stragglers are going to just side with us. Oh, but brilliant. We get a bridge battle. That is a phenomenal <laughs> turn of events. Oh, brilliant, 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 brilliant. And the reinforcements are coming in from behind. Right. Now, they do have a bit of a hill as much as we have a hill. They also do. We've got way watchers. All right, Glade Guard. Let's form a line over there. Let's have you all ready. We hunt! Um, or is it better to have one like that and then have one like that so that they're not actually shooting into into each other? That's probably better, isn't it? You're our four defensive units. So block that pass. And we'll have the rangers ready behind. And then, of course, we have the Hawk Riders. But as we've already mentioned, they have the same troops as us. So I think it might actually be more prudent. No, we'll leave the Hawk Riders where they are. Um... Oh, what was that? What is that? Coming straight in on the sisters. Oh, dear. Volley straight away. What's happening over there? Where's he off to? Yeah, they didn't even get they didn't get any shots in at all, did they? Shock cavalry, shock cavalry, they're gonna be very little of little use. The Zoats will probably be a problem. Uh, let's slow this down because it takes me ages to click on things. Using up one of our volleys early doors. Possibly not the best. Right, and then pull the Hawk Riders out. Before they take too many losses. Oh, nice. Destructive force. Right, they have a thousand more Wood Elves than us. So it's going to be a challenge. Get them in, turn them around. Remember, we have her, and she is outrageously powerful. Uh, Glade Guard, though. Move much further forward. Well, team 2, I think you're alright where you are. We can move you maybe a touch further forward. They're firing away. Do you have unlimited arrows? No, you do have a limit. It's mm, interesting. Head out there and give them a blast. What are they doing? They attacked us. Ah, oh, nice. We got the dwellers on that unit. Are we getting shot at? We are, aren't we? Pull the melee line back. Force their hand. Come on, attack me, you buggers. Make them come at us. Why are they getting so much more range than we are? Oh, very destructive force. Nice. Oh, are they waiting for their reinforcing army to come? Yeah, we are losing so many of our melee forces in this attack. Although we've definitely killed more of them than they have of us. And when they send these units forward like that, they just get decimated, so that's handy. Got dwellers below, Shield of Thorns, a Soul Stealer. Aha, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Team three, brace. Move forward and brace. Hit 
those Hawk Riders. Give them another volley. Dwellers below. Give them some strength to fight. want to just shoot this mass of units over here because if they're all standing on top of each other they will be easily taken care of we've got to use things like that to our advantage I think we've got this I think we've got this oh, yeah massive destruction to their back line there They don't have anything that flies, do they? Give them a blast of the dart. And the sisters, dwellers below. Ah, yeah, this is over. What have we got in our front line there? We've got a unit there that could do with being attacked. Yeah, this is done. Team three. Move forward. Take them with you. Move that line forward. Team one, team two, group up. Move forward. Glade guard over there. Move forward, and it's over. Yes. They were never going to best our forces. Although we shouldn't kill anything, because now we can confederate with them. 488. We absolutely smashed them down. 272 were killed by Ariel herself. 272. That is redonkulous. 110 by the Waystalkers, 167 Deepwood Scouts actually taking the top spot for a non-hero unit. That's brilliant. 181 the Sisters of Twilight flying atop their great hawk. We are showing these fools what victory truly looks like. And that should give us Confederation. Or we get plus 20. No, we're confederating all the way, son. Now we're losing all that money. Brilliant. So we jump down. Where we find all of these. Arthiodi. Sorry, old bean. We don't really need you. Um, although, the heroes aren't too bad to hold on to, are they really? What uh, is your... What um, ab ability or thing have you got? Talon of Kernus. Missile Strength Strength. Oh, so he's a really good archer. He's a really, really good archer. Ammunition reload time reduction. Yeah, take that. Talisman, you can have a dragon mask. Not all that important if we're going to use you to roam around. Campaign movement range. Yeah, go on. And you could have... Take the eagle boat. And we've already covered the dragon, the talisman. They're all covered. Yeah, so we'll hold on to you. Right, and then we've got Ilfran, who's a level 11, and we've got Doldan, a high spell. I think we're going to get rid of her. Uh, no, oh, wrong way. There we are. So we disband you for a start. That gives us, he's at 300. And then we've got you, who should probably... You cost us 3,209. Holy crime and netlies. Um, manage those. Proud son of oh, wow. All of a sudden, we're only down to minus 796. What I'm thinking is sending... Keeping them here... To keep them in the camp and send Ilfran back to deal with Nagarond. So if you link up with Ilfran, 
How can I assist you? And then the two of you can go back. I think that'll work. Uh, he gives training. He spreads public order. That's not too bad, is it? Hero time, reload time reduction during forest battles with heroes army. Yeah, go on, take that then. Yeah, so you link up with Ilfrun. Ilfrun, what have you got? Various bits and bob. He's very good at raising settlements for some reason. And why would you waste on two on those stupid fools? Obviously, uh, I'm losing 64 isn't the end of the world, I don't think. Ah, they got an extra skill point. Let's get that Queen's Emissaries up as fast as we can. And Ariel also improved. I am Ariel. Oh, yeah, we've looked at that bottom line. I'm not too bothered about that, are we? Um, Lord Recruit rank plus three faction wide. Hero plus three faction wide. Personal type. All buildings in the... Wherever she is, she's better. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, let's take that for now. Get those in early doors. They have more... They pay them off greater the longer they last. You're going to move to there. Over here, we need to rush out and just destroy those Skaven forces. Just kill those off. 3% or we get 645. Just take the money. My song grows oh, that does mean that he can get us if we uh, get yourselves back in the city and hold out there. It's killed off a few of those. It's always nice to see. Now, <sighs> why don't you want a defensive alliance? Come on. I can give you that much. I mean, I could give you more than that, but it seems like you're not all that interested in it yet, but we'll wait and see. Now, we've got 17,000, so we can upgrade Erun Lasgallan, and Lulas, I assume, has just gone up a level again. She certainly has, turning into quite, quite the leader of her armies. Inspiring Presence is probably a good call at this point. Or, ideally, we want to try and get up to the Dwellers Below, because it's much better than uh, Awakening of the Wood, isn't it? Causes minor magical damage, but has a large explosion area. Causes severe damage, huge explosion area. Yeah, we want to get up to there. So let's improve Shield of Thorns for now, because she doesn't have any large units. So we want to focus on her um, smaller, minor unit cover. Um, and let's just check we can't build anything up here, because we've got 6,000 more gold. No, that's the be Oh, Lothlorien's maxed out, isn't it? Of course. Um, well, that might be able to build it to up to tier 3. Yes, we'll be able to build that up and in a few more turns. And let's actually have a look at Orion's camp. So bored. Orion's so camp is caught out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we're going to rename this to the um, Ent Wife Wood. And the reason we're going to call it the Ent Wife Wood um, is because it resembles the brown lands to me with a small forest jutting into a vast wasteland and of course the similar this the anything like that in Lord of the Rings is the burning of the forests that were the home of the ent wives so we're going to call it the ent wife wood right you've gone for the you've got your standard blacksmith uh, barracks oh, let's click on this much easier much much easier so the temple of Kurnos we definitely want to build that Immune to desert attrition for all of our armies. Absolutely want that. Blimey. And it unlocks great stag knights, wild riders, and wild riders. So we don't really need the that building. Because we get many of those benefits from the um, Temple of Kurnos. Kurnos. We've not gone for the Eerie. That's no problem. Not too bothered about that. You've gone down both of those lines. We don't actually have that building, so that's pretty good. You've got a guard platform, which is quite helpful. So I think I'll, I'll swapping the cavalry for that is probably the only thing I really am all that bothered about, actually. Uh, are you better than you? No, that one gives good income benefits. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. So we'll swap that out for their unique building, and um, then they're good to rock and roll. And who have we here? Because if I can get both of those on side, we can make this grow. Um, so let's offer some money instead. Go on, boys. You disobey! You disobey! Do not force my hand and make me attack you. Your strength rank is 14, mine's 23, so they're much better than me. Give them a bit more money. No, they have none of it. But our relations are improving, aren't they? I didn't check. Uh, yes, they are. The only thing they dislike is trespassing against them. But otherwise... Um, they actually approve of me being a great power. That's interesting. King Itobom. 
Itobom. Very well. Well, the trespassing will stop, I assure you. Ah, yes, you're moving off, aren't you? Acting as a scout almost as well. Ah, welcome, Tehen... Tehen Harwin. I would welcome an non-aggression pact. Please do. The Lizardmen are our friends. We both strive for the same thing. Preservation and conservation of the forests. And we can work together to achieve that goal. Many of their number already fight for us in the form of the Zoets. So it is only natural that we would link up with their lords and masters and form a strong southern alliance. Oh, nice. All major port owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. Protector of the forest. There we are. Move any character to Venom Glade. That's a plus a thousand. Capture and occupy Klargarond. And that gives you the glittering scales. Oh, but Klargarond is so not worthwhile for me to attack. And we now make money. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, hang on. The world roots. Ah, uh, yeah. The deep roots have two more turns till he can move out. So it's from. Do we want to take anything from his army and add it to yours? He's got much better glade guard than you have, and he's got another way watcher. Uh, yes, we will do that. Right. So the sisters will swap out that one, that one, and that one for that one, that one, and that one. And I think we'll swap out. A Deepwood Scout, maybe? No, because one Scout on their own is a bit useless. I think we'll swap out... We have a massively... Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted with the Wildwood Rangers, because I don't think we really need them, actually. I'm going to swap you for the U, which might be a bit controversial. But there we are. We've put even more archers into this army, but I just think it's worthwhile. We kill almost everything we fight long before they get anywhere near us. So I think it, it makes sense. Oh, you have to wait until you get the Ritual of Rebirth to get that. Oh, and that's years away. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, still, we don't really want the cavalry one. It doesn't really give us much benefit. Just, I'm not going to train any cavalry. Cavalry's just not something I feel like the um, Wood Elves really all that need that much, to be honest. So if we wait until we can get a Kindred, and we'll just build the income building instead. Uh, and then we can destroy that once it's ready to go. Yes. So you've got to wait there for two turns, I'm afraid, old bean. And that does just relate to... Oh, the Oak of Ages can be upgraded. Oh, cool. Oh, fantastic. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. In Edri Eternos. Brilliant. It's getting plus four at the moment, which is good because it's got a natural decline of minus two. Am I on good terms with you, Talsun? You have been granted access to my horse. Orion. No, we're not. It doesn't really like me all that much at all, actually. What's the reason that you dislike me? Confederation penalty. Ah, yes, of course, but that'll go away, won't it? Uh, how long have we got the confederation penalty? Let's find out. Uh, we can't see because it's hidden behind the Forge of Daith. We'll find out soon enough. <laughs> uh, F11, actually, I'd like to go to. Thank you. Oh, down to Erulas Gallen. What happened down here, then? Ah... The Skaven have been defeated and removed by our soon-to-be allies, the Itza. They just don't know it yet. Your offers... Oh, well, they already like us loads, and it's only improving over and over and ever and ever and ever. But we can give them 600 gold to get them on side even more. If we can get a defensive alliance with them... Do we want to keep her in Schlanhuapek? See, we don't really want to leave her down here, actually. It would be great... F I think we're kind of at the point where Vulas could get out. No one down here is now a threat unless the Eats rise up against us. And I just don't think they will. Um, but no, we'll leave her out We'll leave her out in Schlanhuapek for now. And then once we've got the Eats on side, then we'll jump her somewhere else and she can begin her comp... Oh, Karak Zorm. Ah... Sisters. Well, leave it a turn. Let's regroup your army and then, yeah, head out and take that. Let's find who owns the mountains. Almost certainly Skaven. Teclis. Um, certainly, sir. Welcome. You are not 
uh, in disagreement with people I'm trying to ally, so I have no problems with that. The war with the Dark Elves hasn't actually had any consequences as of yet. Uh, Nagarond are unsure whether or not they actually really want to attack us, which is quite handy. Spit it out, then. Oh, Sentinels of Shitty. None of certainly, sirs. Absolutely noodly. Although, are you at war with the Eater? Did I just see that you're at war with the Eater? I think you might have been. Oh, the beastmen are coming against us. Uh, this is turning into Wood Elves Diplomacy the game. Oh, yeah, look, they're at war with the Sentinels of Shetty, so they'll be really disappointed with that. Yeah. Oh, only minus one, actually. That's fine. Ulf One's Defender. Ulf One's Defender. Oh, hello. Hello. And then offer them whatever money we've got. Oh, I can't. Yes. Yes. And just like that, the southern realm has been solved. The problems in the south have been solved. And the tree will work in our favour. Yes, it just hasn't updated on there yet. So we're going to pull her back to the tree. Oh, you might as well just take it slow. There's no reason to go quickly. We'll pull her back so that she can counter, but we'll do the ritual of rebirth in Odin Las Gallant, and then we'll move her out. So that's the south solved. Far easier than the northern side. And you are going to head out. No! Very well. Fools. Uh, if you do... Let's get you to here. And then next turn we'll do the Underroots thing and take you through to Karakzorm. Oh, they've got gold, so we definitely want that. This whole place is ruinous, which means this whole place is probably owned by Skaven. So we'll probably keep Ilfrun down here for now, actually. Um, until... Uh, we'll keep him down here because it seems likely that we're going to have issues with Skaven, who are almost certainly going to rise up. Oh, he could head over there and hit that, actually, couldn't he? How can I assist you? Oh, does it have to be? Oh, no, there we are. Tomb Kings. The Tomb Kings of Nehekara are arrogant beyond belief and declare that we should pay them tribute. A token payment might be enough, but many feel this is demeaning. The forest spirits say that their bones will make for fine fertilizer. Pay tribute. Leadership down for Dryads. Growth is down. Public order is down in all forests. Diplomatic relations with them is up by 30, though, and the heart of the jungle gets a plus 10. Oh, it gets a plus 10, whatever. The Tomb Kings will hate us. Growth. I think I'm going to take the pay the tribute. To be honest. What do you need? Yeah, because that will then make them really, really pleased with us. Yeah, it'll take a turn for that to kick in. I expect, but because if we can get, if we can again get peace with them, I'm not that bothered about fighting the Tomb Kings. It's in the north where we're going to have the wars. Let's not beat around the bush here. Uh, once we get up into the Laurelorn Forest, into the Griffin Wood, that's when the wars will come. There's undead up here who will not take kindly to us, and the Empire, of course, claims our forests as their own, which cannot be allowed. So that's where the real problems will arise. Ah, Teclis, welcome once again. Certainly, sir. And what have we here? Nagarond finally coming. I'm not going to fight that. Oh, they raised it. That's interesting. They're not interested in control. Why would you do that? Fools. Now, if we can take Karak Zorm, then the sisters should be able to get their increased point, their extra skill point. One more battle will probably do it, which will increase our... increase our favour with the Dark Elves. Clan Moors and Clan Eshin, Karak Heren and Karaza Karak. All doing what they want to do, which is fine by me. Can I offer assistance? My journey begins. My journey begins. Maybe you should ride north, actually. I think the sisters have probably got what they need up down here. So instead, let's send Ilfran back to Lothlorien. I'm not bothered if all the surrounding provinces fall. They don't mean anything, really. They're useless. But Lothlorien cannot fall. So that's where we'll send you back. And sisters... Oh, no, there's no need to do that. We'll just trespass. It's only minor. Come on. 
Military access. I should have done that before I trespassed on them, but that's all right. It's done. So we're one step closer to a defensive alliance with them, which will see this place grow. Right. Vulas, send you back. Yeah, 53. It's going up by four. It's got 50 to do, so that's 12 turns. 12 turns we'll be able to regrow the forest, provided nothing bad happens. But that is all four, isn't it? Yeah, the heathlands. Yeah, that is them all. Shlanquapek, Ashlotl, Chakwa, and Itza. Those are the only four um, for that one. Fantastic. And then they're back in Lothlorien to make sure that if Nagarond comes, they face a mighty army here. A fantastic garrison force, bolstered by Ilfren's force. And we've stand a chance there, I think. We do stand a chance. To do this. You don't need to just sit out there and do nothing. So head back and join the army. I'd be tempted to nip out and damage them, to be honest. But then that we risk raising the ire of the Cult of Pleasure, who have taken Iron Spike back. So we won't do that. But for now, that is going to end up this episode. It's slightly shorter today, I'm afraid, because uh, I didn't have as much time. But I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I will record another one this week as well. So there'll be another one probably on um, Wednesday, I expect. But for now, and until we speak again, dear friends, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you had a smashing weekend and you'll have a wonderful week. And until we speak again, Nevair Naden Perimad Melunin. And farewell.